Hi, Daniel Miller here, and what we're going to do is we're going to go through and show you how to make this hammered ring. Um, this one is a gold filled ring. We're also going to do one in sterling silver and that. Um, show it to you right here. There. And I'm going to show you how to make this. Okay, some of the things that you're going to need is a mandrel. This is a steel mandrel, and it has the ring sizes on it. You'll also need a steel block. Good, strong, heavy steel block here. And then hammers. You're going to have a couple different hammers. Okay. Really fancy. This one's more for jewelry. This one's just something you can buy at a hardware store. And then um, you will need some sterling silver. Um, this is 10 gauge. I'll kind of show you the sticker. I got it at Rio Grande. You can see that. Okay. All right. This so we don't jitter the uh, table when I'm hammering on the block. Alright, something that I'm going to do is I'm just going to use this cord to kind of get an idea of how much of a length that I need to cut on this so I'm not wasting. So I'm going to go, it's like basically about four bands. Alright, so I will start at this edge right here. there. Now let's go ahead and unravel. So now I know I'm going to need that much here. So I'll put this on here. Run it. This is where I need to cut it, and I'll use this much of a piece right here. Okay, so I have this tool right here, which you can use to measure pieces and cut it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this out, and then I'm going to lock it in so that I can go ahead and cut it with my saw right here. on it right there and I'll do the same on the opposite side
hammered on one side, the inside is not right there. Now we're going to go ahead and work on bending it around the mandrel. Okay, but before I do that, I'm going to have to go ahead and file this around to get the sharp edge off. so there's no sharp edges. Feels good. Start a little bit up from the seven ring size, and we work on wrapping it around. want to keep it tight. There we go. Right. Now we'll go ahead and take this, hammer it down. Okay. Now we said we need it at a size Seven. Okay. in a little bit. Sometimes what you can do is get a pair of pliers and kind of pull it in if it's getting too far out. But we want to get it hammered, a good nice hammered effect. I'm still not there on this outside, inside a little bit. We got a ways to go though. Let me get some pliers. twist on it. I need to grab more. Twist it a little tighter.
Twisting. Keep on turning it a little bit. that's a good size right there okay you want to get it to where the middle piece is right at it and there's your hammered ring and all we'll do is we'll go ahead and get it polished up so it'll look really nice and then that's a nice little gift Right. That's how you go ahead and work your hammered ring.